Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair, and today we're talking all about low speaker volume. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you a free, awesome way on how to diagnose it quantitatively. I don't know if that's even a word, but we're gonna quantify the actual speaker issue instead of using our freaking ear. That's stupid. Some of us are deaf, like me. That doesn't work. How do we really do it? Let's go. Okay, so like I said, we can't really trust the tool that we're given because not all of us were given the same resolution tool and some of our tools are not that good. And what I'm talking about is the actual, your, your ears. You know, in my family, hearing loss, it, it runs in the family. So over time, it just gets worse for me. So, you know, early on in my repair career, I had to find a way very quickly to give a proper analysis of a low speaker. Now, I know when the customer or just when the device gets to you in general, it's pretty easy to tell. You hold it up and you're like, well, yeah, I think that sounds bad. You see how that works right now? Most of the time you can pick it up and you say, well, you know, that's, that's pretty low. But there are times where you pick it up, you hold it to your ear or you listen to the speaker and you're like, well, my experience tells me it's a little low, but only a little bit, maybe 5%, right? But what if your customer has more acute hearing than you? Maybe, if, maybe they feel like it's more, right? How do we quantify this? Super easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna head to your local app store on whatever platform you're currently on. It's not that big a deal. Uh, both iPhones and Androids have this software. All you're gonna do is look up something that in the app store says decibel meter. Now. When you download the decibel meter, you're gonna get something similar to what I'm about to show you right here. It may not be the same. I think the one I'm using on the iPhone is decibel meter X, uh, but you can see right here that you get this big old graph and you get the numbers and you can see right here the actual quantifiable decibel reading. Da 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 da, you can see it goes up, right? Now, how do we test this with the phone? That's very simple. First, you need to target and identify which speaker is low, if it is the earpiece or if it is the loudspeaker, because if you don't do this right, you're not gonna get a good answer, okay? We're just gonna say that the bottom speaker has an issue. And quick tip here, some phones actually fire with multiple speakers at the same time, so you may have to do this and test it on multiple speakers to get an accurate reading for your customer. But let me go ahead and show you. So I'm just gonna say, let's just pick a song here that I'm not gonna get copyright tagged for for a few seconds. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you position the microphone as close as possible to the actual speaker itself. So let's say, here we go. They're put together now. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted on that. Um, but you guys saw, it's super, super simple. All we're doing is putting a microphone to a speaker and we're measuring the output. Now, I can't be the only one doing this, but I will say I've never seen anybody else do it. So it's super easy, decibel meter X or whatever is in your, your, your actual app store, they're all gonna work just fine. Now. I thought myself, you know, it might be pretty cool to make a database of the different phones, but for me, you know, I, I get a general feel for, for it myself, and I do think that every phone is a little bit different in terms of the actual numbers coming in. Not by much, maybe five or 10, you know, depending on the, the actual phones, microphones, and how everything's calibrated. I just can't say for sure that every single phone is going to read identically, you know, within like 1%. Let's just say it's 5%, right? Um, so I'm not sure if a database like that would really be helpful, but I do believe that if you start doing this, you're going to start getting a, a general gist of what it is, and you're going to get some internal instincts on what to tell the customer. Um, if you guys want to talk about this more, or maybe about the database idea in general, and what your thoughts are, and maybe you've already tried this, maybe this is something you've been doing for years, let me know below, and let's talk about it. All right, we made it to the end of another awesome video. Um, I do hope this is a technique that you have not seen before because I would love if you, you know, I don't know, shared it a little bit on social media, you know. And if you're doing that, you could do the other thing where you like, subscribe, notify, 
And if you didn't know, if you leave a comment within the first 24 hours, I'll respond to it in a follow-up video. Oh yeah, we're getting things are getting fun around here. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear your comments on this. I'd, I'd love to hear how you used it and you didn't use it before and how it helped you really quantify an audio issue. That would just make my heart really happy. So yeah, I really do hope that you learned something today. Um, but with all that, we do need to talk, unfortunately, to the channel sponsor now, so let me go get him. All right, y'all know me. I look like that other guy, but I'm not the other guy. My name's Justin with The Art of Repair, but that was Justin from The Art of Repair. Don't get us confused. Um, I am here, actually, to talk to you about one specific thing, and that is shop.artof.repair. Let me go ahead and pop on over here, and let me show you what I'm talking about in case you don't already know. I have tried and tested a lot of tools in my time. In fact, I would say that a good quarter of every day that I spent in China was in the tools market. Touching things, feeling things, making sure that they're good, inspecting them, uh, talking to tool vendors. You know, tools are a big passion of mine. I even like making tools. So if you want to check out the best tools in the industry, head on over to shop.artof.repair. Right now you can see I got a couple blade handles up there. I'm actually not going to show you what the scroll down is right if you scroll down we've got a bunch of colors right now if you want to express yourself this is a fantastic way to do it i know a lot of times people have blade handles and blades that are just kind of like boring and plain but you know what if you got something that you want that's a little more ergonomic or maybe you like different colors i got you don't worry we got selections shop.artof.repair i love every last one of you and i will see you guys next time